When people see my tram, I hope they wonder what it is. When I create these works, I generally end up with an, an image on a surface which is kind of like an abstract map. It kind of celebrates that imperfection that you find in these concrete spaces in, in urban environments. Now what I see here, the profile of a face, mouth down to chin, neck and like the shoulder there. So this is the, the forehead and the hair up here. Most people will probably just walk past that and think, oh, council needs to repair the road. I just think, where are my paints? I need to paint it. It looks beautiful. And especially with the contrast of the grey and the, the asphalt around it, I mean, the colour, because I'm always painting with bright colours, it would just really pop out of that, that background. With this series, what I'm trying to do is to celebrate imperfection. I'm also really interested in, in that idea about how cities change and how if we left everything as it is, nature would, would eventually take over. So, you know, we can try and control things in a certain way, but we can't escape the power of nature. It's better than I expected. I think that really the size of the sections of colour have really emphasised some characteristics in the pattern that you don't see so much of when it's small. To connect my work to an icon of the city and connect to the public is just really amazing.